Good morning, everyone. Welcome to your reading for November 2nd, 2021. Please show me what everyone needs to know, hear, or see. Thank you. I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you had a nice weekend. All right, your message from Spirit. The tower in the reverse. I'm going to put them all down. Someone's dying to tell you something. Someone is very attracted to someone. Someone has something to reveal. It's like a pressure cooker. The world in the upright in strength, feel, strength fears, and feelings. Eight of Pentacles in intuition. Oh, five of coins in the upright in closure. Seven of wands in the reverse in the near future. Eight of swords in the reverse at the base of this. Someone is, someone is um, becoming unmentally stuck. Someone is, their mind is free. Maybe it wasn't before. Um, you have the shadow side in the recent past. So that is addictions, that is um, obsession. Someone has been working on something. Someone is feeling left out and someone is bursting. Like someone is missing someone that they're very attracted to. And someone has put down their weapons There's some kind of completion. The magician in the upright. Someone's trying to make something happen. They're trying to manifest. And I feel like they're trying to, like someone's feeling, they're trying to get out. They're trying to start something new. They're scared to, to complete something. They're, um, perform, oh, what is that called? Performance anxiety. And I don't mean that sexually. Maybe that means something to someone. Um, but no, this is, this is fear of completion. This is fear of finishing something. Someone is also afraid to drop their armor, but they're going to. In someone's intuition, they want to work on something. Um, we could be reading a Capricorn with that shadow side in the upright or a Gemini. Um, someone could be free of a Scorpio or a Cancer. Advice, temperance, forgiveness, balance justice, compassion. So you're supposed to have compassion in some way. Four of swords in the reverse. Um, somebody is wounded. Somebody feels shunned. Somebody feels left out. It could be that double edged Somebody is working a lot. Someone could be a workaholic. Someone someone feels kind of like they're... Okay, it kind of feels like a workaholic. Um, like someone feels like they're like a shut-in. Shut-in just came to mind. Um, or they're like shut in an office. They're away from everyone. They're working really, really hard and they're missing everything around them. Um, and it feels like they're trying to free themselves from something. Um, someone could even be something to do with a promotion here. Um, what was I just getting? 
it's definitely about work, work, work. Someone is doing very well at work. Um, somebody needs to drop their defenses at work as well. Um, and there's something here about starting conversations. And it could be, uh, it, I mean, it sounds like networking. So not really, you know, my forte. Um, but there's something here about forgiving oneself, freeing someone, um, freeing oneself. And it could have something to do with this really obsessive work. All work, no play. Someone needs to get outside. Someone needs to get out and see the world and drop all of their defenses. There's something about seeing the beauty in the natural world here. Um, someone is getting that, like they're getting it. They're free of some kind of, this obsession could be programming and somebody has really latched on to some kind of career, almost like obsessive networking, like someone has done really well. There's also, um, there's nothing left to fight for. Um, someone is supposed to show compassion or find forgiveness. I feel it because it's right in your gut. It's for yourself and free yourself from something. So, but there's still something that I was going to say that I'm forgetting. Did I shuffle this? I can't remember. There's a new beginning. It could be a new job or it could be um, traveling. But someone is going to bust out of this oppressive feeling here. And it has something about having forgiveness and compassion. Um, dropping your weapons. It could be starting a conversation. It could be at a distance. Or someone's going to contact you out of the blue. Like it's going to be a little bit uh, surprising. Something something is, uh, is really lacking right there. Like someone is really missing you. They really want to talk to you. Um, I just noticed that butterfly there. Somebody could have, oh, there's something to do with the Scorpio there too, transformation. So maybe you're a Scorpio or there's a Scorpio involved. Temperance in the reverse. So that's very priestly and it's also someone that needs help and they don't want to ask. Someone is busting at the seams here. They really want to make a change. They really want something new. I feel like they're trying to help themselves. Someone's in a bit of a crisis here. Someone works obsessively and they need to give themselves a break. That could be someone who is even um, celibate. It's called the priest. Someone is going to break their celibacy here. Hmm. Someone's going to get promoted. Someone is going to be able to relax a little bit. Something's unprotected. I just saw pregnancy, unprotected sex, and the world, and temperance. And then there's the three of coins in the reverse, which is called infant. But it also means unsupported. It also means... Um, there, And then 
there is that five of coins. So there could be um, some kind of situation where there's a child with no parent. One of the parents is missing. Single father. This is feeling like a masculine energy, this priest. It almost feels like somebody has something to say about some kind of interaction that ended up with a child, but they wanted to be a single parent. I don't know. Somebody wanted, somebody wanted it this way, but they didn't say anything. And you're supposed to have compassion for them. I do feel like I'm reading a masculine energy here. Um, the nine of coins in the reverse. Yeah. Shady friends. Needy. Somebody's, somebody's needing something here. These are both needy cards. Both of them. And they're both about somebody that's unenlightened. Um, someone that is a little bit, um, somebody... Somebody makes you drop your defense. Somebody's afraid to talk to somebody here because they, um, they disarm you. There's somebody here that wants to speak to someone. It feels like a masculine energy that is definitely feeling out in the cold. Someone that needs help or someone that just needs to um, break this. It's a horrid feeling and they could be working to make up for it. And, or maybe they're finishing a project or something like that. But they, um, they're trying to find balance and they're also breaking out of some kind of programming and they want to talk to someone, they don't know what to say. It could be something to do with a baby here. And spirit is actually intervening somehow, helping them. Um, but yeah, they're really scared because somebody, they have no defense against somebody. And, and somebody's in need. It's either that masculine energy or there's something... Um, really uh, like somebody doesn't defend themselves and that's their strength somehow something is also go coming full circle and it could be some kind of news that was previously untold to someone because this is something in the shade this is also someone breaking free of low energy friends this is also needing new friends all right intuition nine of wands in the reverse Ooh, okay so someone wants to work on some kind of past burning bridge someone wants to work on someone's really embarrassed somebody is trying to work it this could be their character because that devil energy there so it feels like someone is working on themselves and i feel yeah um, I also feel like this is something at work and there's a bunch of people that are like, what's going on, boss? What's going on? And and somebody is trying to soothe them. Um, somebody knows exactly what's going on. Somebody was trapped in trying to figure something out. And now they've figured it out. They're also feeling very balanced about something now. Something mentally, but they're keeping it hidden. And they're still trying to figure out how they're going to use some information. It could even be some kind of information from a shady source somehow. But somebody's working on themselves. Somebody is trying to work on something here. Also, it could be someone healing from an injury. Someone's trying to heal from an injury. And it could have been self-inflicted. 
and I mean that by like speeding or um, I don't know like somebody was involved in something obsessive or something addictive and injured themselves somehow and they're they are feeling like they're in a needy kind of situation and this could be them as well these needy cards something has happened to someone and it's it's woken them up it's forced them to work on themselves and they've been ostracized somehow as well and yeah they're wounded somebody's wounded but now somebody has also found their power okay on the five of coins you have the ace of wands in the upright Ooh, okay, so yeah, things are going downhill. They got Ace of Wands in the upright, which in this deck is called Shoot, which is um, attraction falling for something. So there's there could be a karmic energy involved here as well. Something could be coming to a completion. I'm kind of getting more than one person here, though. Um, I'm getting also like a lot of embarrassing things happening around them that... It feels like a lot of things are happening at the same time here. And in closure, they are feeling very out in the cold. They're having problems at work as well. They're having to repair relationships at work. They're having to find compassion, forgiveness, um, dropping their weapons. And beside the magician, you have the sky in the upright. Wow. Okay, so the light has turned on for someone here. This is like the star in the upright. Um, um, someone was... Okay, so someone was reaching for the top in some way in the wrong way. And now someone's trying to, someone has literally been kind of, I don't know, disabled in some way. And I, I don't necessarily mean that physically, but like all of their old patterns have been busted. And now they're learning how to communicate again. That's what it feels like. Someone's learning how to be a person. <laughs> um, all right. Seven of Wands, yeah. Prudence in the upright, looking at themselves in the mirror. Someone's also looking at past messages. Someone is seeing the truth about something that they were defending themselves against. There was no argument. But they shut something down. They shut a conversation down. They shut a person down. Um, and now they're looking back at something and they're seeing that somebody was not fighting against them, they were fighting for them, or they were just defending themselves against something abusive. There is toxicity in, in this devil card, and it really has brought somebody to, I'm just gonna say rock bottom. And now they're, they could have found religion here or, or some kind of higher power here, and they're trying they're trying to learn how to use something. They're trying to learn religion. They're trying to learn spirituality. It could be magic, but the star is in the upright. So it does look like it's not um, nefarious. They could be getting some kind, or if they did, it's coming back. It is, it's coming back. So they're learning a lesson again, or this is the first time, or I don't know, I'm not getting that. I'm getting um, that there's a lot of stuff coming back to this person and they are bowing down now to something higher than them. And they're dying to have some kind of new beginning or conversation with someone. Somebody um, is definitely looking back at a conversation I don't know, if, but it looks like it's over. I'm not seeing that they want to have a do-over. They're This person is in their head, heavily in their head. OK, 
chaos in the upright. Wow. Okay, so chaos in the upright. This is definitely about a man who is having, who is in the middle of a transformation. This person is learning. Oh, 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 wow. Um, <laughs> this person has kind of been silenced in a way. This person is learning about speaking things into the future. They are only saying positive things about the future. They're only saying the things they want to have in the future. Um, this person learned the hard way. Yeah, this person is like abstaining from words unless they're right. So this person is very silent and and there's there's something building up in here, like in a good way. There's something, there's good, there's good happening, but they are also ready to burst and they don't know what to say. They don't know how to say it. Um, they're very... They want to complete something. They want to complete a conversation. They do. They might want to provide something that's missing in some kind of analysis of a situation. Somebody wants to do that in, um, in a compassionate, balanced way. So yeah, chaos in the upright is one of the meanings for that card is that your moral convictions will pay off. Um, someone's being released from karma. Someone has paid their karmic debt. Um, and then another thing that this means is hope. It's, it's a male energy. If you're a man, this is about you. You are freed from something. Freed from past, whatever it is you're working on, you're, you're literally, it's working. What you're doing, you're trying to repair past drama, um, some kind of low energy, something associated with getting ahead. Um, someone's working on that and it's working. Someone is absolutely releasing their karma. They are. This is somebody finding themselves. All right. The birds and the fish in the reverse. So that is, hmm. there's been a damper put on this devil energy. Um, it feels like they tried to stand strong right until the end of their old ways. And, and things just got shot down around them. Like their, their love life, their work life, um, there could be secrets. This person feels like they're at the top somehow. And there could be like some kind of little, something is eating at how they got there. Something like little stories or people are whispering, something like that. There's something about shadows and shadowy um, people or whispering or, but someone's still putting on this very successful face. This could be their own um, insecurities as well. They don't necessarily believe they belong there. But this person, I'm getting all these things at the same time. So, okay, so this person was trying to tough it out. They were trying to, all these things were happening around them. They were standing there going, I'm fine, I'm fine. But then this birds and fish card in the reverse is telling me, that it's, it's um, a lack of creativity. Like they started running out of ideas. Some, something, um, it's a mother energy as well. Um, it could be judgment from a mother energy as well. And somebody's holding their head and they're, they're saying, I don't wanna hear it, I don't wanna hear it, I don't wanna hear it. There's, there's a mother energy telling them, look, son, or look, whoever this is, this is your own doing and you need to change your ways. Um, but I feel like this could have been done in a very compassionate way. I don't know. There's a message that's coming in to this person. They are changing their ways. Somebody is changing their ways. A masculine energy is changing their ways. All right. The Knight of Swords in the reverse. Okay. And bottom of the deck, you have the nine of swords in the upright yeah so this person is wounded they're in bed 
they're in bed. I am picking up on that injured, working on injuries. Um, this person has cut themselves off from those around them. Nobody knows what's going on with them or they don't know what's going on around them. Again, I'm getting that um, they're learning some kind of lesson about don't speak about the future. Like they, they're, they're literally, they're, they're almost mute because they're figuring out, don't say it. Don't say it if you don't want it to happen. There's some muck in here and, um, but this person is healing. This person is healing. They have a lot of stuff to work on. They really do. But they are looking within and starting to see the big picture. They're dropping their defense. They're wounded. They're worrying. They're up in bed. They're up at night. They're, um, But that's also the con the cosmic window to me. They're definitely celibate, ecclesiastic, ecclesiastic, and the priest, and the four of swords in the reverse. Um, this person is very stubborn and very determined. Like they really did stand tall. They thought they thought it was standing tall, but it was actually standing up for um, lies, manipulation. Um, some kind of networking thing. Um, like, I really feel like this person kind of had it all. And it's starting to come back to them. All of the people that they stepped on in the past. That's what this kind of feels like, actually. All these people that this person stepped on. They are trying to free themselves of thoughts of that as well. But this person is... They, they're transforming. They are, they're transforming. They're, they're really, in, they're in the baby stage. They're in the baby stage. And they're, they know they don't want to manifest anything dark, so they're basically mute. What was the shuffle song again? Fantastic Sam by Gap Dream. Oh, that's funny. Um, it made me think of somebody, somebody has new boots. It said something about rubbers, and then it also said something about boots, and it sounded like someone was like um, strutting their stuff. But then it went into, do you know how to love? Do you know how to, I don't know if it said, you know how to pray, but that's what just came into my mind. This person is, is learning how to pray. They're also learning about their own, like their third eye is switching on. Um, their heart, oh, their heart. Their heart is in need of care, absolutely. Um, and they don't know. They don't know how to do this. They don't know how to go from here to here. This is a man finding himself. This is finding your light, finding your power, finding your manifestation. Somebody's a word witch. Someone's figuring out that they're a word witch and they've actually been hurting themselves. So, so yeah, they're not sure how to get to join these two together. Because when these join together, and this and this join together, okay, so they've, yeah. These have been joined together in a way, but in a bad way in the past. This person was using their power, maybe in um, like a greedy way. This can mean greedy as well and insecure. Um, Somebody was using their power in the wrong way and and they boxed themselves in. Somebody kindly told them what they're doing and they're trying to they're trying to clean up their act. Someone is trying to clean up their act, but right now they don't know what to do. Um they could be reading up on it. They could be reading up on it at night, almost like obsessively reading, trying to figure this out, how to do this, how to drop your weapons, and how to manifest without hurting people. Um, someone is learning, we're here to give. We're here to give. That's the message that they're learning. We're here to give. All right, that is it, folks.
I love you. Have a great day. See you soon. Bye.